I was going to do some plastic welding, and I thought I'd bring you guys along, show you a couple different techniques I use to uh, weld and fix broken plastic pieces. Here we got the cover to a chainsaw that threw a chain just barely. It's just a cheap Craftsman Poulin chainsaw. And you can see that that is now several pieces, and that piece is completely disconnected. So I did, I scraped all the sawdust out of there, and I played around with it for a second and got it to go back where it was so it's completely degreased I sprayed some carb cleaner on all the joints making sure there's no, you can use brake cleaner too um, just be careful because uh, carb cleaner eats plastic so if you got a nice finish and you don't want it to eat and don't, don't use that you could use something like a rubbing alcohol or something to degrease it. If it is greasy, if it's not greasy, don't worry about it. This is just a really greasy part. The principle is pretty basic. Just using a soldering iron. Um, all we're going to do is wherever our crack is, is get down in it, melt 99% of the way through. The further you go through, the better your bond. Right in the middle of the crack and then fold the edges in. Um, and then for more strength, what we can do is we can actually add wire to it. I'm going to heat up my soldering iron. I'm going to go through. And it's not the prettiest thing. So if you got a uh, something you want absolutely pretty, you're not going to get perfect results. You can go through after you're done and, and kind of smooth it. pretty cold outside right now. I'm going to heat up the plastic just a little bit. Because this piece is probably about 20 degrees right now. There we go. Now the whole piece is warm to touch. And now it'll. And then we'll just fold it in from each side. Go down in the middle. Fold it in from each side. Just pile it in back in that hole. You can do a, you can do a little bit of a length and fold it back in from one side. Fold it back in from the other side. Just kind of stir it around. The deeper you go and the wider you go the stronger the bond. And the next step is, is what I'm going to use here. You can use steel wire. This just happens to be uh, some copper wire that I cut off of a, um, it's actually just battery, like a battery cable wire that had some extra and just cut it off and set it aside. Just for stuff like this. This is a little long. Let's cut this down just a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll double it over. And what you do on this is because this will absorb heat really well, we'll just lay that across our crack. And we'll just put our soldering iron right on top of it. And it'll absorb the heat. And we'll just push it in. And we can push it down pretty far. Let it cool for a second so it doesn't pull along. Oh, not letting it cool. Let's let that side cool for a second. That's in there good. Nice and boring to watch, huh? There we go. You're like, hurry up. Do something exciting. 
Let's push that down in there. There we go. And that really increases the strength of that. It won't want to come apart again because you got wire in there. And you can use thicker, like bailing wire, stuff like that. If it's really thick plastic, I mean, you could use something like a, um, I mean, or you could use a paper clip. You could melt a paper clip into there. Um, but I'll continue along soldering this and I'll come right back. So I've got that locked into place on the inside. Now I'll come along on the outside. I want to be, I want to be nice on the outside. I'm just going to kind of more cosmetic because I don't want to ugly it up too much, make it too obvious that a repair was done. But you can see now that, I mean, I can deflect that a good amount, and that's not cracking. You know, you can see the top that hasn't cracked, it deflects. Let's see if we can get in there. That's not cracking. That's a solid piece. Um, not, not, probably not quite as strong as original, but really close. I'll put in another metal strap, probably a piece of copper right here, and that'll probably be strong enough. Maybe I'll put one across there or something, but that'll really keep it from ever going anywhere. Unless I throw another chain, then it'll break again, you know, just like it did with this one where it was new, but. There you go, the basics of uh, plastic welding with a uh, soldering iron or soldering iron. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, comment below, rate and subscribe if you haven't but there we go fix plastic for nothing well if you have a soldering iron nothing uh thanks for watching see you soon bye